he hands me the hundred dollar bill and she snatches that shit so fast like she like yanks it out of my hand and i'm like hey ladies welcome back to another video it's your girl miss emily paints again with another story time about my rude client yes my rude client so this is another get ready with me y'all already know if you like these type of videos and you're new to my channel click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications because you're gonna want to know every time i post another video like this let's get started okay ladies so first of all i'm gonna tie my hair back because it's gonna get in my way of doing my makeup by the way these are new scrunchies that are gonna be coming out on my website this friday so if you guys like scrunchies get yours it's affordable i promise everything on my website is ten dollars and below okay so, so you guys know miss emily paints cosmetics.com or you can click the link down below and go ahead and get your scrunchie this friday when it launches of course so ignore my armpits i have some deodorant and it like stains it like white and i hate it but i love it because it makes them smell so good and it keeps me refreshed and nice and smelling good all day all day so okay now that i have my hair up let me just start doing my makeup let me start this story for you guys oh my god i can't with rude ass clients you guys have no idea how much i've struggled with a lot of them i have so many of these stories for you this lady was actually about to get married right so she was gonna get married and and her husband messaged me i didn't know her she lived like 30 to 40 minutes away from me and i didn't even charge her for gas you guys her husband messaged me and told me hey i'm gonna be getting married soon and my wife is gonna need a makeup artist and i see that you post a lot of makeup stuff so i want to know if you can come and do and do my wife's makeup and i want to know how much you charge right so at the time i wasn't as much as much of a pro as i am now <laughs> when it comes to my makeup skills so i wasn't charging that much back then i was charging 30 dollars i was charging 30 dollars for makeup and $30 for hair because I did hair too. I went to cosmetology school for a while. So I did hair too and, and Oh, what is this a little hair? <laughs> so I did hair too and and I was gonna be doing her hair as well. She wanted an updo So I was charging her 30 bucks for hair and 30 bucks for her makeup, right? So I told him like oh, I'll need your address just to see how far it is and this this, this and that right so her house was like 30 to 40 minutes away and I didn't even charge them for that. Like I, I, I was really just doing the makeup stuff for fun. So this guy tells me, okay, here's the address, blah, blah, blah. See you on the weekend, right? So the weekend came along. I got my stuff ready. I got my kit ready. You know, I disinfected everything because I know that it's very important to keep everything very sanitary and clean. So that's what I would do every single time I went to go do a new client's makeup. I like to keep my things organized and clean and sometimes i would honestly like get lazy sometimes i would get so lazy to do all these things but i mean it had to be done <laughs> so i get to these people's house right i get there and the ladies like all over the place the bride she is all over the place their family had came from i don't know where so the kids were running around everywhere you guys and <sighs> this was so frustrating okay so it took me like 10 to 20 minutes to get the bride to sit down to get her to sit down and pay attention to me because she was all over the place because there was just so many kids in her house and everything was unorganized right and i mean i i don't judge i don't really judge it that hard because i get it like those days are probably like super busy you know when you're having a party but oh my god you guys never again I told her to sit down and stuff. I started with her hair. She was on her phone, which was fine. You know, I wasn't working on her face yet. So my problem was that I was struggling to keep her in the chair. I was struggling to keep this lady in the chair because she kept wanting to check on everything. And I understand you want everything to come out perfect on your wedding. But still, like, if you're going to have somebody working on you, like, come on, like, sit down, bro. Like... Take a seat, get ready first, then do whatever you were doing and let everybody help you on your big day. Everybody else that's around you, you know, Cause she had a lot of people in her house. So I was doing her hair and everything and I finished. She loved the updo. Perfect. Okay. So makeup. When it came to the makeup, this was the problem. She showed me a picture. She showed me a picture of this dramatic, like brown, like neutral smoky eye. 
but it was dramatic you guys like it had glitter it was like dark brown tones and everything and I told her okay so that's exactly how you want it right because I ask all of my clients like do you guys want a natural look or do you want more of a dramatic look so she showed me this picture she's like I want it to look exactly like this so I was like okay so I started doing her makeup and everything and 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 I did her eyebrows first because I always start with eyebrows I did her eyebrows first you guys and this is where I got my first red flag she was upset because she felt like her eyebrows were way too dark and at the time the pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is what I actually have on right now was a thing so everybody used to do those dark eyebrows so I assumed which was my fault of course it was my fault I assumed that it was okay and she wanted those eyebrows so I was like okay I was like okay I'm sorry like I'll lighten them up right so I got a new spoolie and I started buffing it out just so I can lose color and I started using a powder a powder eyeshadow to cover that color up right a lighter one because she wanted them lighter so I started doing that and then I finally got to the tone that she wanted after I started doing that so then I moved on to her eyeshadow and you guys when I tell you that I was so frustrated and mad and irritated because she had all these mocosos in the house and I get it people have kids blah 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 but they were touching my stuff like girl hold your mocosos I don't want you guys grabbing my things like I keep my things clean and organized so I was so upset that the kids kept grabbing like stuff from my kit and I was like oh my god and I was like oh no no like please like don't touch that and I try not to be rude you guys I have a bad temper I try not to be rude I know it's bad it's something that I need to fix about myself and I've actually currently been working on that and it's been working so I've been fixing that I'm working on it but these kids you guys these kids were touching my things and they were running around a little kid grabbed the lipstick and he was running around with it and I was like oh like can you can you tell him you know like if he can give me my lipstick back and you just hear his mom from like across the, the kitchen like like oh no no like let's call him Brian no no Brian no toques eso like Brian don't touch that eso es de la muchacha that's hers don't touch it right so I was like, oh yes, mama, <laughs> tell him, tell him to leave my stuff alone because <laughs> I'm gonna have a fit. So the kid brings back the lipstick and everything, everything's peachy, perfect, okay. So I'm still doing her makeup and everything and she starts asking me questions like, like, oh, um, where'd you go to school like for your makeup and everything? And, and I started, and I started answering her questions, you know, being friendly, being nice, trying to get on her good side because when you get on customers' good sides, they give you good tips. <laughs> so at the time, I was, you know, I was younger. I wanted to get money and, and I, I did it for, for fun too, you know, like I love doing makeup, but the fun part was that there was money extra on there. So, so I was, I was telling her how it happened, how I started getting into makeup and everything. And she was very nice at first, right? And then, and then you guys, I finished her eyeshadow and I was showing her the process along the way, right? I show her her eyeshadow and Jesus Christ, she blows up. She's like, you, you did it way too dark. Like this is way too dark for me. And keep in mind, you guys, I was doing her makeup at like 11 a.m. No, way earlier than that. I was like 10, 30, 11 a.m. So I had woken up that day like at 5 in the morning to get my stuff ready and start driving and get to her place. Yeah. Plus, not to mention those minutes that they had me waiting until she sat down. So she tells me, oh, this is way too dark. I'm not liking it. And of course, it's my job to make her makeup look the way she wants it to look. But I explained, I explained, I explained, <laughs> I explained to her, I explained to her that this is all part of the process. Like, even if it looks dark right now, makeup starts coming off throughout the day. So I told her, if you want your makeup to last all night, you have to go a little darker so that it stays and then it'll stay the whole day and the whole night. You get what I'm saying? So I know what I'm doing because I've worked, I've worked with so many clients that I know that for a fact that's going to work. So I tell her that and she's just like, no, no, I, I still think it's too dark for me, blah, 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 blah. And I told her like, ma'am, ma'am, listen here, Linda. <laughs> I was like, 
you showed me a picture of how you wanted your makeup i really just recreated what's on that picture you guys it looked exactly the same as what she wanted like it looked exactly the same as that picture and i was like oh like but if you want like i'll, I'll lighten it up i'll go in with another brush a, a clean brush and just blend that brown until it gets a little lighter use a clean brush again that way i don't have to take out like the whole look so i was like let me just lighten it up a little bit so i did that and she was still like no it's still too dark and i was like jesus christ i was like okay i was like i'm gonna take off your eyeshadow and i'm gonna have to do it all over again she's like do you really have to do that like i have to be at the church at three and keep in mind it was already like it was like 12 30. i finished her hair really fast so I had enough time to finish her makeup. If I took it off, I'll still have enough time. But I was just a little irritated because I was like, girl, like your makeup looks really good. And this is going to make it last the whole night. And you want me to take that shit off, you know. So I was a little upset. But I was like, all right, you know what? Like I told her, let me just take it off. And then, and then we can work from there. Let me just take it off and restart. She's like, okay, okay, sounds good. So I took it off and whatever. And thank God I didn't put her foundation and everything else. Because that would have pissed me off even more. So I took everything off. I started doing her makeup all over again. And she screamed at me when I finished, you guys. She was like, it's almost time for me to leave. And, and you did this again. It's still way too dark. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I shouldn't even have to pay you because you didn't do a good job. And she was telling me this in Spanish, you guys. Like, she spoke Spanish. So you guys know that, like, Mexican moms, because she's a mom. So, like, Mexican moms can be, like, very rude when they're, like, screaming at you, you know? And she was like, oh, like, I don't like it, blah, 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 no me gusta, uh, something, something, like, no sabes lo que estás haciendo, blah, 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 right? And I was like, I was holding back, you know, being professional and all. I didn't want to, like, be like, excuse me, you know? <laughs> so I was trying to be professional, and I just let her yap. I was like, all right, I'm just going to let her talk. So one of her aunts or whatever, her tias, came, and she's like, yeah, yeah, she's like, tranquilízate, um... Chillona, let's call her Chillona because I don't, I don't want to say her name. So she's like, yeah, yeah, tranquilízate, Chillona, like calm down, cry baby, calm down, because, like, she was making this big deal. And I get it, you want to look perfect for your wedding, but I really did make her makeup way lighter. I don't know if she was doing it on purpose or is because she was stressed already, whatever the case was. But her tia, her aunt, told her like relax like you're fine she was telling her like your makeup looks good you're okay you're fine and uh, you guys like she finally like stopped right she finally stopped and she was like okay maybe you're right like maybe i should just leave it like this it does look kind of nice with the hair and everything and and she's like either way like she said the makeup's gonna come off later after she calmed down and everything she finally was listening to me so i tried telling her again you know yeah like your makeup starts coming off little by little throughout the day and the night especially if you're drinking or you're having fun or you're sweating so i was like let me just put some good um a good amount of setting spray so it can stay you know gotta use that urban decay setting spray so i did that okay and it was cool meanwhile so i did the rest of her face and everything and then she started complaining about the foundation yeah she started complaining about the foundation she was like oh no like like this is too much it looks cakey blah 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 and i was like girl if you don't get in my face <laughs> i was like girl no i was like Trust me, like I told her, I it's not cakey. It wasn't cakey, you guys. Like it wasn't. It was like a, a light to medium coverage foundation. And maybe this was because she didn't use like makeup. So she mentioned she didn't use makeup. But this was only like a light to medium coverage foundation. So I was like, uh, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that bad, you know. So I I didn't think it was it was cakey at all. And as a makeup artist, you know when something looks cakey or not. So I told her, I was like, hey, like, this is not cakey. Like, cakey would be, like, a heavier foundation. And I pulled out my, or, like, my Kat Von D foundation, I think. And that one is, like, pasty. Like, it's, like, cakey. But that's, like, for, like, you know, dramatic looks that you do under lighting. So it looks so perfect. You get me? So that's just, like, for filming. But I still carry it with me, like, for whatever reason. So she was, like... She was like, oh, like, yeah, you're right, that is cakey, and what I have isn't, right? So I was like, yeah. But then later on, like, because she got up, she went to the restroom and all this and that. You know, I was there talking to, like, the little kids. And she goes, and I over, like, I overheard what she was telling her tia, her aunt. 
And she was just like, ay, no me gusta. El maquillaje está muy fuerte. She's like, el, el, la cara se me mira como pastel. Blah, blah, blah. So she was telling this, this aunt of hers, let me translate, that her face is so cakey, that her eyeshadow's too dark. And, and she was just complaining about everything. She's like, and I don't like how she's doing it. And whatever, whatever. And I was like, Okay, so I was like, wow, you know, because like I know for like a fact that I did a good job and thinking back now, I'm just like, damn, like I I feel like I still did a good job, like and, and I handled myself really good with like the way she was acting too, but I don't know. It's just some people are just very picky and, and, and you know, I get it. It's her wedding day. She wants to look perfect and stuff, but you can only do so much to somebody's face. Like if I would have taken off more makeup, like it would have looked like she had no makeup at all so i was like okay i was like it's fine so she came back and she's like well it's really good she's like but she's like I, i'm not really happy with how it came out so i don't feel comfortable paying you and i was like squeeze me mm -hmm. huh <laughs> say it again what <laughs> i was like what <laughs> you know i was like i i didn't know how to react to that like i stopped doing my makeup <laughs> I didn't know how to react to that. I was like, wow, like this lady is really not gonna pay me because she didn't like how I came out. Like even after I took out her makeup and put it back, you know? <sighs> so her husband comes out, a really nice guy. He's like, you know what? He's like, let, let me pay you uh, this, this and that. I think you did a good job. Like I think she looks beautiful. And like the bride was furious. Like she was furious because she, he was gonna pay me. So he was gonna pay me and she was pissed. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, like, thank you, I appreciate it, blah, 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 right? He even offered me a water and everything. She was so mad and her aunt was like, yeah, calmate, you know, like, calm down. This, this lady looked like she was ready to charge at me for some reason, like, she looked like she wanted to punch me. <laughs> so her husband comes back and he has a $100 bill and I was like, shit, like, I don't have any change. You know, I didn't have any change. So he starts telling me like, oh, thank you. You know, like she came out really good. I think you did a really good job. And I know it was quite a drive for you to get here. He's like, so I'm gonna give you $100. When I tell you that this lady almost passes out. <laughs> like she's just like, you know, like she's, she's shook because it's, her husband's gonna give me a hundred bucks for what I did when she wasn't happy with the work, apparently, even if I know I did a good job. So, he hands me the $100 bill and she snatches that shit so fast. Like she like yanks it out of my hand and I'm like, I just stare at her like, are you serious? And her husband's like, hey, like, what are you doing? Like, is this haciendo? And she's like, no, like, I didn't even like my makeup. I didn't even like this, me, 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 me. You know, she started complaining to him and like a little kid, I was like, holy you know i was like wow like i can't believe people are like this like i know i didn't do a bad job you guys like i'm like 100 percent convinced that i snatched her face like so good and her husband's just like okay like it's fine keep that keep the bill like they were arguing already like they were like wanting to fight and stuff because i guess they it was their wedding day but like they were all over the place like i said they were unorganized so he went back he co he comes back again he brings me back another hundred dollar bill and he's like here you go you know but like just just go you know so i was like okay thank you so much la 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 i grab my ring like grab my you know my little case and i'm walking out the door a little confused about the whole situation <sighs> i get to my car and i kid you not i was just at first i was in shock and then i got emotional you guys like i started crying in my car when i finished i was like what just happened and this is just because i'm like a very like empathetic person and and i'm very like sensitive sometimes so like the way she was being towards me like i didn't understand why she was being that way towards me when i know i did a good job and everybody else was saying she looked good you know so i was just like bawling my eyes out i was like so upset and i was like oh my god never again i don't want to do this anymore blah, 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 blah. next day i was already booking clients again but anyways, <laughs> you guys, that, it was a horrible ass experience with this lady. Oh, and then her husband tried messaging me one time to ask me if, if I could do her makeup again for like, I forgot what occasion that they were going to do. And I was like, nope. I was like, sorry, like I'm booked for that day. Like, I'm so sorry. 
when I didn't even have clients that day. But I was not going to go through that again, you guys. Like, no, 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 no. Like, this lady really, like, brought me down so bad. <laughs> and that's one of the stories that I'm just, like, never going to forget. But anyways, I hope you guys are liking these story times. Like, if you've made it this far, comment down below. If you speak Spanish, comment Chiyona. If you speak English, comment Crybaby if you've made it this far. Just for laughs. And, of course, I like to see that you guys are actually watching my video all the way through. Because that helps me. It, it honestly helps me. I'm this close to getting monetized, you guys. So, I'm so excited for it. I'm at, like, 3,100 something hours. And for those of you that don't know, monetization is when you start getting paid from YouTube, so I'm so excited to start my YouTube career. Huh, so yeah, you guys, don't forget to comment, like this video, and yeah, tell me what you guys think about this video and, and what I should have done to this client or said to this client or what you would have said. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.